T lawn care and uh, today I got a new mower. Got just today uh, I ended up trying it. It was a uh, 52 snapper that was converted over to electric start. That's why the battery's on top. Um, I'm not sure what year it is, but it is a little bit rigged up. But hey, whatever uh, works, I guess. Yeah, I just got done using it in this backyard. To, uh, in the front yard, I'm not gonna show that yet, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's 52 inch snapper, uh, but that was converted over to electric start, so the battery actually had nowhere to go except for above the engine or on the where the 52 is, but that's adding weight onto the metal, and also this don't I want to get to the belts a lot easier, so I'm happy. I didn't do that, uh, someone I bought it from did. So I'm glad he put it above the engine. Uh, engine is running a little rough. Not sure. I'm thinking it's the spark plugs might be old. I also have to do an oil change on it. Because I don't know when the last time that was done. But yeah, it is a hydrostatic. Uh, this is my first hydrostatic machine. Um, it has like a little hitch for that. Yeah, I'm a... Uh, Noticing I might be a little too big for that seat, so I might end up selling it if you guys want it. To, you know, be it, but I'm not shipping it. Cause screw that. But yeah, it bolts on um, where the sulky normally go, and then the side, and side, and then there's the hole. Like I said I might just sell it because I don't necessarily like it. I'd rather be standing up. Plus, uh, I was thinking about converting it over to like a normal sulky, sulky, but I was like, what's the point of that? So. Do that, I might as well sell it and get a brand new talkie. Yeah, um, so far I like it. It's not the hydrostatic people, I, like, uh, like Skaggs, no ones, it's actually like the, I think they call it the loop system. You have to hold this bar up, and then of course you uh, pull this, both of these back to go forward, and then you actually, when you pull them back a little bit, it takes the safety off, and it moves them both forward, and all you have to do is just pull it back when you want to stop, it automatically goes forward. Unless you let go of this, but for some reason, I guess whoever did the wiring, you have to uh, put the throttle all the way down to shut it off. Because if you try to shut it off with the uh, with it on full throttle or at least you know half, a little more than half, it will um, not shut off. It sounds like it's losing a cylinder more than it does uh, it shutting off. I don't understand how that works. I'm not an electrician. <laughs> I don't understand how wiring uh, works, for, at least for engines. So, maybe it's something messed up, but as you see, uh, I had to put a new switch in. It is rusty. A little rusty because it was outside. It was kept outside. I don't care. I actually kept one of my mowers outside, and, but it didn't get rusty this way because it's now inside. So this one's going to be inside as well. Especially since it's hydrostatic, I'm going to take care of it hopefully um but yeah, i had to get a new switch so far new battery and now i might be doing a tune-up air filter ow <laughs> trees uh air filter is actually good but the oil filter i'm not sure i don't even know what kind it is but, so if you know what kind of oil filter that is please let me know because it the oil filter as you see it's so screwed up it's just white the uh tag on it's just white it doesn't even say nothing it's not even painted on it's like a little um heat shrink thing and uh, also as you can see since the last person who added this had to move the muffler so that's a little bit rigged up I might have to probably gonna get a new muffler because whoever ran it ran the crap out of this one also it being outside kept it probably got hot and then it rained screwing that up even more um, that's about it. It does have. I'm not going to take the cover off right now. It actually is a two belt system. It has one belt that connects this pulley to this pulley, and then it has another belt that connects this one to that one. And that the drive belt goes that way. And then there's just a secondary belt, which I'm glad on. At least if there's belts that are smaller and not freaking huge ones. I don't know if all 52s are like that. Again, this is my first 52. My first hydro. My other one is a. Um, 
My other walk behind is a Skag 36 inch. It's an older one, so it's a belt drive. And um, also the, uh, I guess you could say manual PTO the, with the big lever instead of the uh, little switch. Man, I thought yesterday this thing was done for because the switch went out. And I thought I was going to get mad because I just got it. That'll be the second time I actually use it. And the switch goes out, and I thought the PTO itself went out. Again, I'm newer to this, so I don't even know if the PTO can go out like that. Let me know if you know. But, yeah, this is my uh, 52. Uh, probably going, like I said, do a tune-up probably later on today or tomorrow. Um, another thing, since this frame was here, the spark plug is right behind, for one, this muffler, so it's actually right there. So I have to get... I could probably get a uh, spark plug thing in there. The socket. There's the other one. I'll probably get a spark plug socket in there. Problem with getting a spark plug socket in, it's tight. I might actually have to take the frame itself, at least move it enough so I can get the spark plugs out. Um, that's the only thing I can even think of and how to probably get it out unless I get it so far out. At least loosen it. Take out the spark plug and just slowly unscrew it. But I have to do that when it's real cold. Because I know the spark plugs uh, get really freaking hot. I've been burnt on a couple of those. Um, and the muffler. I'm not getting near that muffler. I've been. But this guy had to adjust the brakes. The brakes are right next to the freaking muffler. Same muffler as this one, actually. Because it's the same engine on the uh, Skag. Just this one's 16, and the other one's 14.5, I believe. Um, I swear, I'm only turning that thing on for five seconds. Enough to move it up. Like, not even five feet my finger I heard it sizzle for like the half a second it touched and it blistered almost immediately that crap sucks so I, I don't know if it's because they converted it and maybe a simplicity had it this is a snapper I don't know if uh, this is because it's a simplicity engine or a simplicity in top half I I don't know engines and like what engines go on what and all that stuff. I'm new to all this, so uh, I like it a lot more than my belt drive uh, Skag because I can actually back it up on the spot instead of stopping it, reverse, putting it in reverse, and then putting it on, uh, you know, backing it up say a couple, uh, not even a foot, then putting it in drive. This one I can back it up a couple feet. It makes stripes look a little better, even though this grass here is mostly clover and. Basically, like uh, shaded grass, because of all the trees and stuff. I, like back up in there is the only spot that grows a lot. And I see there's stuff up there because I just have to get the weed eater up in there. I don't even want to put the mower in there. I don't even know what's in there. I don't put the mower in places I don't know. But I mean, it has a nice clean cut. Here's here. I'll show you up here real quick cut up here kind of like this truck a tiny bit and then up there of course the truck's in the yard I can't really show and I have to pick up the trash or the yeah paper that I ran over but uh, if you have a 52 and you know some stuff maybe I have like some tricks and stuff let me know uh, I'll see if they can come in handy for me but yeah that's a 52 and uh See you later.